These are King Von's most disrespectful moments. And first up, we gotta talk about Von disrespecting FBG Wooski. Because back in the day, Wooski was walking on King Drive, his ops territory, and some O Block members were standing outside. Police were also nearby, so nobody wanted to let off shots since they automatically would have got booked. So instead of doing that, King Von and Wooski walked up to each other and started hands. Other Roblox members jumped in since they wanted to do Wooski bad. And things got so bad that the police eventually had to go over there and break everything up. And a few years after all of this, Von talked about it on his Instagram Live when a troll mentioned Wooski's name. This b say she love Wooski. We don't even know no more Wooski. It's slow up. Hey, Wooski can't tell y'all I beat one day. He ain't tell y'all that he too done. He remember I would punch us up. But Wooski said differently in an interview with Cam Capone News because he claims he was doing Von bad in the fight. Just standing right there and the police just pulled up and they they thought they was just gonna stand right there. We got the whooping they after the interview hit the net, many O Block members said Wooski was capping and didn't beat Von up. Shoebox Baby said on the guys that got touched up bad that day. Another member said that Wooski threw a brick in the fight. But that ain't the only time Von disrespected Wooski. Since him back again, he raps. Bet Wooski feel this one. I bet Wooski still twitching. He changed. Something different. Here, he was making fun of Wooski over a dark incident that had happened to him. Because on the day before Dooski's funeral, O-Block members were seen FaceTiming Wooski and letting him know they had a surprise for him. So the day of Dooski the man's funeral was tense, since everyone knew that something could happen at any moment. And it turned out to be true, because when Wooski stepped outside during the funeral to smoke a cigarette, four men in hoodies ran up and sprayed the church up. Wooski was hit in the head, and five other people leaving the building after the service were also hit. This afternoon, there were a total of six people who were shot outside the church. It was a pandemonium, a scene of pandemonium right after that happened. Thankfully, no one died in this situation. And even though Wooski survived the shooting, the injury was so bad, he had no choice but to leave the streets alone for a little while. But Vine didn't care and continued dissing Wooski on social media, saying the shooting changed him into a and that Wooski didn't want to diss him anymore. Super gangster cause he, cause he ugly. I shot in his head so now he's stupid slow, they think he's savage. Man, don't nobody get shot in the head, that's, that's goofy. But if you thought Vine disrespected Wooski a lot, what he did to Tuka was way worse. Because he dissed him in multiple songs. Since in a song with Slim Santana, he says, Caught that boy right by that bus. This is last stop. But Vine could also be referring to Lil Mark, who was Tuka's brother. Because two years after what happened to Tuka, something similar happened to Lil Mark. Because on March 28th, 2014, Lil Mark was shot at a bus stop on the south side of Chicago. And one witness said that a man pulled up and opened fire. And after shooting Lil Mark, he fled away in a minivan. Police later found the van burning in flames. But Vine also threw shots at Tuka in another song saying, Tuka in my lung. I say that every time because he got smoked. But it doesn't stop there because there are even a ton of clips of Vine trolling and dissing Tuka online like these. <laughs> you shot Tuka? Say Tuka, man. Shoot him again. Shoot him yeah. in his head. Yeah. So look, my question for the day is, what is your message to your first body? Tuka, let me get in that head. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Tuka. Yeah. And all of the disrespect made people wonder why Vine hated Tuka so much. And after dissing him so much, Tuka became a meme on the internet and got to the point where Tuka's mother spoke on the situation, saying she wanted people to stop disrespecting her son. When you hear people say, they're smoking on your son, Tuka. Oh, it makes me upset because, I mean, where, where do the level of disrespect come? Stop. Now, let's move on to the time King Vine disrespected Lil J. Because recently, clips have been getting leaked of King Vine and some of his ops in Cook County Jail. And one clip went viral where Vine asked the guards to move him into protective custody. Many people say he was doing this since he didn't want to be on the same deck as Lil J. Since Vine told the guards that Lil J is very sus. And at first, not a lot of people believed Vine, since Lil J would always deny the rumors. Messing with a guy, let's, let's clear the air on that too. That's like the number one thing people want to talk heard about. It was the most goofy that I ever heard in my life. And I knew it had to come from somebody goofy or something. Never played my name like that, man. But the truth came out once a clip leak of Lil J letting a guy sit in his lap and kiss him. And after this clip hit the net, many people said King Vine was right this whole time. And even some of Lil J's own gang members were clowning him after seeing that clip. 
Let me see you juke. That boy having a juke party on a whole in the Cook County. Sitting on his lap. That mean that you will take that from any one of anybody, given the time and the place. You the booty man. No, the booty man, bro. That's the booty man. The booty and like, man. The way he grabbed, the way he grabbed that man, that like he needed booty more than life itself, gang. Then, speaking of those jail clips, it's also another incident that got leaked where King Vine got very disrespectful with one of his ops in jail because all of the inmates were in the holding cell. And while in the cell, King Vine spotted his op, 051 Freaky. So he slipped out of handcuffs, went over to the corner, and started whooping Freaky since he had a tattoo saying F LA Capone. But it didn't last long since the police broke everything up and put Vine back into handcuffs. Now let's move on to when King Vine straight up disrespected K.I. Since in exposing me, he raps, I swear I killed her, broke her back. King Vine refers to K.I., a feared Chirac assassin and member of STL, and she was highly respected among her gang members and almost feared by all the ops, except for King Vine. Because in 2012, King Vine and Chicago gang member K.I. were in some serious beef, and they wanted to get to each other badly. And the day would finally come on September 25th, 2012, because K.I. had caught the train to go somewhere, and while on the train, she spotted King Vine, one of her main ops. And the time they saw each other, things were on sight. Vine punched K.I. in the face multiple times and did her very bad. And a few hours later, once Vine got home, he went to Twitter and explained how things went down. Because he made a tweet saying, I've died get whooped on the train lacking. Think about it. K.I. acknowledged what happened with a tweet and said, My arm up my ear and I got a bruise on my face. K.I. followed that tweet and said, Ain't got but a bruise on my face, but ain't tripping that 40 cal, but a hole in that opera's face. But things ain't in there, since on April 11th, 2014, K.I. was going to one of her friend's houses for a birthday party around 3.30 p.m. when Vine and Big A, another Roblox member, caught her lacking and started firing. She died on the scene at just 17 years old. And back in 2021, the Chicago Police Department named Vine as the offender who shot at K.I. And Vine has referred to her many times in his songs because in War With Us, he says, put a pretty up in the morgue, call that drop dead gorgeous. And Vine used to troll K.I. and call her pretty since he wanted to get close to her so he could set her up. And she most likely knew this since she was never down to meet with King Von. And one of K.I.'s friends interviewed for a documentary about her and said that K.I. felt Vine was doing that to try and set her up. Really liked him to her. And he was like, well, she too pretty for that. And tell her to stop game banging, you know. He liked her as a girlfriend? Yeah, he wanted to be her boyfriend. She just felt like he was trying to set her up and kill her. That's what she told me. She's like, I think he's just trying to kill me. He don't like me. What's the like? And K.I. started her assassin career after wanting to get revenge for the death of her close friend, Tuka. This led her to shoot Odie Perry, a member of Oblock. So it makes sense why she thought Vine wanted to set her up. And in the same interview, Vine spoke about his situation with K.I. We talking on the phone. Like, that's somebody, like, say you, somebody you DM and talk to. And then one day they just gone. Now you like, damn, who the f gonna talk to now? In pressing with Sada, baby Vine said, they caught that brick and hit him in his... Brick is an FBG member who was gunned down back in 2017, along with Kobe Mack on 63rd St. Lawrence. The police found one of them with a wound to the head lying in front of a house, and the second victim with wounds to the back and arm behind a the house. They were both pronounced dead. FBG Brick was a brother to FBG Duck, another rapper King Vine has humiliated multiple times. Because in a song named GTA, Vine said he made a diss and now he a ghost, and it happened fast. And FBG Duck was a well-known Chicago drill rapper and one of Vine's most known ops, because he and Vine used to always send shots at each other. But not long after Duck dropped his song, Dead, dissing all of Oblock's fallen ones, it made them want to get rid of him ASAP, since it was one of the most disrespectful songs ever. And a month later, while FBG Duck was shopping, two vehicles pulled up near him and started opening fire. Duck had taken multiple shots and was later pronounced dead at the hospital. But Vine hasn't only had beef with Chicago rappers, because he also had problems with YB. Because back in 2020, Vine and Youngboy began beefing after a clip surfaced on the internet when Vine was listening to Youngboy on Instagram saying how Youngboy caps in his rap. Youngboy talking about on this song, boy. What? You talking crazy on this. Oh, yeah? He ain't even like that. Oh! On his now. Then in another live, this young boy in a playful manner. Why be a straight? I catch him is that. 
Youngboy never publicly responded to Von, but many believe he was aware of the diss. And things between the two rappers were quiet for nearly two years, since both rappers were being monitored by police due to their lengthy criminal records. But in November of 2020, outside of a lounge in Atlanta, an altercation broke out between NBA affiliate Quando Rondo and King Von, leading to shots being fired and King Von's life being taken. And click this video on the screen right quick. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.